You know, I think it's safe to say that we've determined the iPhone 15 Plus to be the new battery champion this year, just like last year's 14 Plus in that series. So the Plus model seems to be uh, the one that's gonna give you the most screen on time. And I found that in my own testing, just, you know, regular usage wise at home in Ann Arbor, Michigan, you know, on Wi-Fi with, uh, you know, proximity to a charger and not like running around a place like New York. And that is the point of this video. I found myself on a spontaneous trip to New York. Uh, and today I put this phone through through hell, going from Detroit to LaGuardia and Queens, to then Brooklyn, to Manhattan and back, while mostly on cellular and just using this phone all the while while I'm waiting in transport, etc. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how this phone drains from waking up at four in the morning to checking into my Airbnb in Brooklyn at 4 p.m. 12 hours later. So yeah, my alarm went off around 4, 4.15. I had to make my flight at 7 a.m. And of course, I started out the day with 100% of my battery being charged. And uh, yeah, I promptly drove to uh, Detroit uh, Metropolitan Airport in Romulus, Michigan, and used some CarPlay on the way, wireless at that, by the way. And I finally got there around 5.46, still at 100%. I had to take a shuttle and I was scrolling through some Instagram while I was on it, and then I got to the proper terminal where I was gonna fly out of Detroit with Delta. And once I was situated on the plane, after three hours and lots of cellular usage, I was down 10% and just listening to music. This immaculate Delta flight took about an hour and a half, and then by 9.15 I was down to 82% Ubering to Brooklyn to drop off my heavy luggage and equipment, and then I decided to take a Manhattan-bound sea train to Manhattan, or first and foremost the World Trade Center area, I'm down to 75% around 10, and then around 11.28, I'm down to 65% on the phone talking to Chris Lawley, of course, about YouTube and such. And then I made my way to the Brooklyn Bridge using cellular and maps. I got this beautiful view here of the island as well. Um, I was super tired by this point. My phone was still chugging along, though 59% at this time around noon. Meanwhile, I'm running off of an hour nap per my New York City traveling tradition. <laughs> And then I was heading back to Brooklyn to meet somebody for lunch. I had to find the stairwell to get off of the bridge and onto the street. And around 1240, I'm down to 48% navigating through the downtown and Dumbo area, which is super nice. <laughs> I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> what is this, the uh, 17 Super Pro Max? Nice. Absolutely. Nice. You know it. It's going to last you uh, all of, uh, I don't know, probably two weeks? Right? Just about. Mm. What's yeah. the battery? I mean, let's see what the battery's at. Oh my god. 38%? Well, I've been up since four. That ain't it. That ain't it? No, let me see. Let me check my 3.2 inch screen. Oh my god. 63% baby. And uh, <laughs> I haven't charged it in two days. So yes, I had the privilege and pleasure of meeting Becca Farsachi. She's an incredible human being and creator with The Verge and also independently. Great time. Great conversation. Check out her stuff if you haven't already. I'm just shooting it. I've been shooting this like battery vlog, like hybrid on my camera and like on my iPhone. 15 Pro. And that was another call with Chris Lolly. I'm always bugging him about something going on in my life. And then I was on my way back to Brooklyn to pick up my luggage and to get to my Airbnb. It was around 340 and I was down to 23%. And naturally I had to get my Drake in on my train ride back to Brooklyn where I picked up my luggage uh, and had to unexpectedly take another Uber because my Airbnb host gave me the wrong address to one of their other properties. So I stored my luggage in a place that I thought was close to where I was staying. Turns out it was like 30 minutes away. So yeah, that was a completely exhausting ordeal that just made the day even more tiring. Uh, and at this point, I wanted to listen to a little more music. Some Lana, of course, shout out to my Lana Stan friend who introduced me to her. 7% after 13 hours of being awake and pretty much constantly using my phone on cellular. Here is the usage about eight hours and 25 minutes of screen on time. Again, mostly on cellular and on the go, just doing stuff, you know, nonstop. And yeah, I finally could take a break after my one hour nap 13 hours before, I think the 15 plus has done a really good job. So there you have it guys. This phone is really impressive. It may not have been its best day in terms of overall screen on time, but it wasn't on Wi-Fi in my apartment and just kind of going about the day very casually. It was doing CarPlay at four in the morning. It was constantly on cellular, streaming music, doing navigation, Uber, all that stuff. I made several phone calls, FaceTime calls, 
the whole day for 12 hours and it still had some juice to spare. Hell, like I just said, this phone lasted longer than I did. Granted, I got no sleep, but still, um, really impressive stuff. So if you're really big on battery life, this is definitely the phone to get. And honestly too, if you wanna save some money, this is 90% of what the iPhone 15 Pro is, minus the promotion and some camera features. Um, so I really love this phone. I have loved it so much. I didn't even bother to transfer my eSIM out of it. Although I'm gonna be doing a day in the life with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I kinda have to. But anyway, um, I've loved using this phone. I cannot wait to share my review. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.